Legos are hands down the greatest childhood toy. I feel like a core memory for any kid was waking up on Christmas or your birthday and getting a brand new Lego set. As MLK once said, I have a dream that one day I'll own the Lego Death Star. But with that being said, if your parents bought you Mega Blocks, I'm sorry to tell you, but they probably hated you. And you're honestly probably a mistake. Okay, the Halo ones were cool, but she wouldn't have caught 10 year old me dead looking in the Mega Blocks aisle. I mean, you just feel way more connected to your toy when you actually build it. You got these cool little people and you got a thing to use them with that you made yourself. Pretty much all the toys at the store are already pre-made, which is probably a good thing because I don't really know how to make any of this. But unlike every other toy, you're the one that put it together and you're the one that could build it how you wanted. You didn't have to follow the instructions. I mean, you could have eaten the bricks if you wanted to. And speaking of eating Legos, what is the point of the age rating thing? I don't think anyone actually paid attention to it, and it's basically just a big fuck you to old people. But not only did Lego know how to make cool toys, but they also knew how to make a good ass game. Indiana Jones, Harry Potter, Star Wars. <coughs> but the best game in the series was hands down Lego Batman. It's got action, it's got humor, it's got sex appeal. This game is a modern day classic. I mean, I don't know how a game with absolutely no words and could probably run on a toaster managed to be so good. The main story is basically all the bad guys break out of jail, commit terrorist attacks, and you have to stop them. It's about as basic of a Batman story as you can get, but that's honestly a good thing. The game seems like an introduction to Batman as a whole, and as the first LEGO game with its own original story and not based off the movie it's from, it was good enough for that. Each mission's loading screen was this introduction to the main villain of that level, which is a cool way to introduce people to some of the more obscure characters. Like who the f is this dude? This game was good for two reasons, the atmosphere and the humor. For a LEGO game, it honestly kind of scared me as a kid. Something about it is just creepy, and it really makes you feel like you're in some crime-filled shithole. Every level has this feeling, which is pretty cool given how many different locations there are. Take out the LEGO people and this just looks like an actual Batman game. And the jokes in the older LEGO games were always funny to me. Since they didn't have voice acting, they just had this slapstick style of comedy with the occasional grunt here and there, which I feel forced the people making the game to be more creative in how they told the story. Plus, Batman beats women, and the elderly, and gets naked. The only bad thing I can say about this game is the vehicle parts, because they're fucking stupid. I didn't like it when I was 8, and I don't like them now. The car just drives weird, and it's boring, and I hate it. Now, I can't really talk about any of the sequels, because I kind of stopped playing LEGO games by the time they came out. But from what I hear, the second one is good, and the third one exists. But LEGO Batman was everything I wanted out of a game at that time. It had cool characters, fun puzzles, and it's a game I'll always look back fondly on. Now I'm no Anthony Fantano, but if I could rate this game, I'd give it a It's Fun out of 10. And that's not even to mention the Lego Batman movie. And I say this with no satire, no sarcasm, but this is by far the best Batman movie, and honestly might be a top 20 movie of all time. It takes what's supposed to be this dark, serious character and makes them actually likable. Call me a hater all you want, but I'm just sick of these dark, boring ass movies that you gotta turn your brightness all the way up to actually see what's going on. Now that's not to say I hate Batman movies, cause I mean, this one was pretty cool. But before all the losers start talking about, but, but The Dark Knight is one of the best movies of all time, and, and Lego Batman is for babies. Shut up! Christopher Nolan wishes he could make something half as good as this. Does your Batman admit to tax fraud? Plus everyone knows Anne Hathaway is the only reason people sat through that boring ass movie. Lego Batman knows what it is. It's a fun satire on a character everyone's already familiar with more than it is a serious interpretation. And it's not three fucking hours. So yeah, Lego Batman might not be the most faithful adaptation, but he's cool. The game is a great overall summary of the world of Batman. And the movie's at least worth a watch, even if you're not a huge Batman fan. Yeah, I used to jerk off to Lego Catwoman.